Alliance is the one to keep an eye on this match. We have our third, fifth, and 20th ranked alliances on that team. But don't discount the Blue Lions just yet. We have plenty of high scores on their side as well. We'll have to see how the matches total up for this match. Welcome to qualification match 23 of the Tip Canoe event. The remainder of this match is controlled by our students. What you just saw before that was totally pre-programmed. 31-47 Purple Precision making quick work of their cubes. Picking it up using their pincher mechanism, making their way, or, way around the charge station to score in their grid. 50-10, that's Tiger Dynasty scoring a cube in front of their own driver's station. That's high visibility points for them to be able to see and place those pieces precisionly. 54-02, making their way around the center of the field. Maneuvering to pick up that last game piece that's left here in the center untouched. They're hoping to deliver it back to their grid for additional points. Remember, if teams are looking to get that additional ranking point needed for a unicorn match, they need to get five links, where a link is defined as three horizontal pieces on the grid, and you can't use pieces you use for one link in this another link. 6956 placing a cone in the middle of their grid on their blue alliance. Those are with three point seats for each piece placed in the center of the grid. Remember, it doesn't matter the game piece. It does matter where it's placed. Stacking additional game pieces on top of ones you've already placed does not get you additional points. 3176 looking to place a cube in the lower part of their grid, hoping to gain a couple more links they have reached that cooperation minimum, so they have placed at least three game pieces in their cooperation grid, lowering that threshold for the rank points such that the Red Alliance can correctly capture that. The scores are pretty close, so the end game will determine who wins this match. 54-02 already sitting pretty on top of their charge station, looking to be joined by one or two of their opponents. The Red Alliance matching them, hoping to get a third. They only have 13 seconds to balance it. Balancing it for additional 10 points per robot. The Blue Alliance will get 10 points for its robot as well, and a few for parking in their area. That was qualification match 23. Here are your scores for qualification match 23. It was rather tight. The winner is the Red Alliance. By a margin of eight points, 50-10 has maintained its fourth rank position with 31-76 purple precision moving into second. Those four ranking points helping all of those teams on the Red Alliance.